This is an installation of a Loop Electronics Waylog View on a CAT 988G. Start by showing you the hydraulics. Uh, this is a pretty easy one because you can get into the hydraulics from about chest height right to the left of the artic articulation point. These two hard pipes are your pressure for this lift cylinder and we want the pressure side and the return pressure side. This loader had a previous loop electronic scale on it that we we're upgrading to a newer scale with Wi-Fi and so we already had hydraulic hoses in these ports. However, Loop does provide the appropriate fittings to put your pressure sensors into these ports in the event that these hoses aren't there. Uh, these hoses run directly across to a clamping bracket that we're able to use the other end of the hose to fasten to our pressure sensors. There's a quick disconnect cable that goes into the end of those pressure sensors. Those cables run right through this little area here and come out this hole right below a junction box that took two quarter 20 holes that I drill and tapped one on each side to hold that box on. There's one main cable that comes out of this, we call it the can cable, and it wraps and goes through the same place as these pressure sensor cables. And then you can see I go through the articulation and then up through the center of the loader underneath the cab and we drill the hole and we entered into the bottom of the cab through that hole right there. So uh, the other two wires that come out of this CAN box, they are for the inclometers. They also go through that hole. They come around to the other side of the loader. Come out a similar hole where they follow an existing cable run to each unclometer. One is for the chassis, that's this one here, uses industrial grade VHB tape, and the other is for the lift arm, which is behind that little bracket right there. Again, using industrial VHB tape. When you mount the one on the boom, you want to make sure that this pin right here on the bucket is equal distant off the ground as this pin right here. When you have that, you mount the two inclometers level when those two pins are equal height off the ground to each other. We'll go up into the cab. On this side of the cab, actually on the roof of the cab, you'll see that we added a little bracket here, industrial grade VHB tape holding it to this plastic or fiberglass roof. Uh, this is a magnetic GPS antenna. And then this other little antenna, same thing, VHB to small washer on there. And that will be the antenna for our Wi-Fi router. Power was taken from the back of the cigarette lighter adapter. That's keyed power. The junction box was mounted underneath the seat. Keyed power was run from that back of the cigarette lighter adapter in directly into that junction box. The CAN cable we talked about earlier that was down by the black box. That cable that came into the cab goes into this junction box as well as each wire, one from the router and one from the GPS that I showed you the antennas for go into this box as well. This is a Waylog View. It's a touch screen industrial screen monitor and the little router back here, I have that sticker on there because I haven't calibrated anything yet, but that little router back there is what's going to allow us to connect into Wi-Fi. And there's two cables that come out of that back of that router, both plug in directly into the back of this head unit. And then one cable goes from the head unit down underneath the floor mat and into the junction box I showed you. So that is an installation of a Loop Electronics Waylog View 
on a Cat 988G in Las Vegas, Nevada.